Hi everyone, Janelle here from the SSAA. I'm going to teach you today how to do some work in your menu so that the menu on your site will show the categories and the pages that you want it to show. So you can rearrange it, you can add subcategories, and you can change the title to make it look the way you want to. Almost all of the designs that we do, we allow you to change your menu yourself. Um, some of the designs are a little bit custom, so you do have to be mindful of that as you're changing them, and we'll usually let you know that. But most all Genesis um, framework themes all operate the same way. The menus will all work the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our dashboard, and we're going to go to Appearance. I'm going to have it come up and when it comes up you'll get a, da a drop down and I want you to go to the drop down called menus. Now this is assuming you've already created your pages and that they already exist. If they don't exist, if you don't have your About Me page created, you're going to need to create that. If you want something special for a category rather than just the category, you're going to need to have that created already before you do this. Here is the menu for Nelly Belly and you can see that we have main menus, primary menus, items, and then we have sub items. So here our main menu items are Mrs. Fix-It, Crafts, DIY, Recipes, Holidays, Life, and then the Lazy Baker. We have this set in our primary navigation menu. Many of the themes will have two navigation locations and you just have to be mindful of that and, and watch which one you put them in. If it doesn't show where you want it to show, try the other one and see if that does what you want it to do. Alright, so our main menu, our main one here is Mrs. Fix-It. We also have sub items. And to create a sub item, you would indent it. So what had happened was when we put in a category, and in order to put a category in, we would go over here to the pages. And these are all pages that we've created recently and I can click the view all and it will show me all of my pages that I've ever created in the history of creation and let's say that I want to put in a res my recipe gallery page I would click that and then I would click add to menu and then it would come up at the very bottom of all of my right here it comes up on the very bottom of all of my menu well I don't want my recipe gallery to be underneath my lazy baker so I'm going to just drop and drag it to where I want it to be and so I want to put it right here in my recipes. I want the whole gallery in there. And so in order for it to be a main page it has to be in line with the main pages. But I can create a subcategory by simply indenting it underneath the main page I would want it to be. So I'm going to indent it underneath recipes so it's going to be a sub item of the main category recipes. Then I'm going to click save. Wait for it to save because my internet is a bit slow today. And then if I visit my site, I can show you what that would look like. So now when I go to my recipe tab, Gotta wait for that to come up. Here's my recipes tab. And now you can see my recipe gallery is now in the drop down along with my other subcategories. Again, there's my main category and then there's the subcategories. So let's take you back to that. I don't want that there anymore, so I'm going to click into it and I'm going to remove it. And now it has disappeared. And you can see here that I have pages. These are pages that we've created. We also have categories. You can choose on mine and all themes are different but you can choose from pages. You can often create your own links and this would be if I wanted to link to perhaps a Nelly Belly store at an outside location or if I wanted to, to link to an Etsy store or to create my home page I would simply put NellyBelly.com and I would make this menu item home and that would mean when you clicked on home it would bring you to the home page you could click you could add your category so here are the categories on my site and this is a very useful tool used often you would put your craft category in and you would add it to your menu and there it is right there my category uh, this is going to 
show according to where your theme is set up. So my theme shows a snippet of every post in the category system. Some themes are going to be set up in a grid fashion and some themes are going to, are going to be set up full post. So it will show according to the way your theme is set up for categories to show. And we do some customization with that. So if you've gotten one from us, it may show a little bit differently. So that's the general idea. You can also just open a page and here is the information in there that you can write. And if I wanted it to appear not as DIY, I wanted to change it and then I wanted to say DIY and home improvement projects on my front page. I would simply type that in here. And when I saved it, this is what would show up on the menu on my home page. All right, I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about your menu and how to navigate that and move that about.